friends today i will discuss the relation between mutual inductance and the coupling coefficient and self inductance of the two coupled coils here this is coil 1 and whose self inductance is l1 and this is coil 2 whose self inductance is l2 l1 carries a current called i1 and whereas l2 carries a current called i2 in this directions and both are magnetically coupled and they have the dots here this here and here So the, when the current I1 flows in this circuit, the total flux produced by coil one is phi one, whereas I2 flowing to the coil two produces a flux called phi two. That is coil two flux. Next, phi one two is the flux produced by coil one, but linking with coil 2 also that is called phi 1 2 similarly phi 2 1 it is the flux produced by coil 2 but also linking with coil 1 this linking flux with the other coil is less than the original flux suppose phi 1 2 is always less than or equal to phi 1 similarly Phi two one is always less than or equal to phi two. Similarly, there is a another uh, term called magnetic coupling coefficient. This magnetic coupling coefficient indicates how close the coupling coils with each other. If the coils are very close to each other. the value of k becomes 1 that indicates there is no leakage flux whatever flux is produced in one coil the whole flux also links with the coupled coil the other coil and also we we know self inductance of l1 is equal to n1 phi1 by i1 This n one is the number of turns on coil one, and i one is the current flowing in the coil one. I one is the total flux produced by i one in coil one. Similarly, self inductance of coil two can be written as n two phi two divided by i two. Here, flux phi two is produced by the current i two in coil two, and n two is the number of turns on coil two. similarly whenever there is a magnetic coupling between the coils there exists what is called magnetic or mutual inductance between the coils m12 means it is the mutual inductance of coil 1 due to the current flowing in the coil 2 similarly m21 means it is the mutual inductance of coil 2 due to the current flowing in coil 1 because these are two coils close to each other then m12 is equal to m21 is equal to m and the magnetic coupling coefficient can be written as or defined as k is equal to phi12 divided by phi1 which also equal to the phi21 divided by phi2 and from this phi12 can be written in terms of phi1 like this k into phi1 similarly phi21 can be written as k into phi2 and the mutual inductance mutual inductance m21 which can also be said said equal to m is equal to n2 divided by i1 into phi12 so in place of phi12 we replace with k into phi1 then equation becomes m21 is equal to n2 into k phi1 divided by i1 similarly m12 which is also equal to the 
mutual inductance m is equal to n1 i21 by i2 so this phi21 can be replaced with k into phi2 then the equation m12 becomes n1 k into phi12 by i2 multiplying this m12 and m21 and whose values are equal to m can be written like this m into m is equal to n2 k phi1 uh, n2 phi12 by i1 into n1 phi21 by i2 so replacing this with this that is n2 k phi1 divided by i1 next this m can be written as n1 k into phi12 divided by i2 once it is further simplified m square is equal to k square into n1 phi1 by i1 into n2 phi2 by i2 this n1 phi1 by i1 is nothing but self inductance of coil 1 l1 whereas n2 phi2 divided by i2 is the self inductance of coil 2 that is l2 so from this it can be observed that m square is equal to k square into l1 l2 from this m can be calculated as m is equal to k into root l1 l2 let us see the numerical problems on this formula if the coils are identical then what is the mutual inductance between the coils so when the coils are identical means l1 is equal to l2 is equal to l then the mutual inductance between the coils will become m is equal to k into root of l1 l2 so here l1 l2 means l into l so l square so m becomes k into l similarly if the coils are identical and k is 1 then it can be written as like this l1 is equal to l2 is equal to l k is equal to 1 and we know the formula m is equal to k root l1 l2 so m is equal to k is 1 and then root l1 l2 means l into l l square so then we get here in place of k 1 and root of l square means l so this indicates mutual inductance is equal to the self inductance for the two identical coils provided the coupling coefficient is unity here it can be observed phi1 is the total flux produced by the coil 1 but part of this will also link with the coil 2 that is called phi12 like this similarly phi2 means it is the total flux produced by i2 in the coil 2 and part of this is linked with the coil 1 that is phi21